quite quite popular tonight, so I might as well just continue on down that path. Oh. Consent of the cover. Uh, just before you start, uh, I'm going to ask the uh, sergeant at arms that if we have another uh, right. outburst from anyone, if you could just please ask the, uh, the, the individual to leave the. Governed by the consent of the governor. Tim, would you, would, would, would you uh, help escort the gentleman? I might be lost. Thank you. Uh, you know, I want to talk a little bit about the fact that all the angst that we see dealing with right now and all of the anger here um, that's being directed at the mayor that's being directed at various members of council can in all honesty be traced back to one event and that event is the farmers market and I want to talk about that I just I just want you to sit to understand that what started out as a routine responsibility for establishing clear policies and fee structures regarding special events and vendors, something that every municipality is dealing with right now, all of a sudden became this. This is an untrue. And, and if you look at, when I say that other municipalities are also looking at this, you need to, know, look, you need to look no further than Waynesville, Ohio. Waynesville, Ohio is in the midst of their own issues just like this with their sauerkraut festival and it is all about the fact that they are now asking vendors to pay a fee and they are asking for background checks something that's very similar to what we're doing and i really just don't understand why everyone doesn't understand why the city has to have policies they're there for a reason policies are there to protect the city and a city does have a fiduciary responsibility to know who is conducting business in their city. And as good financial stewards of the city, we should recover some fee for the use of those resources. And I understand that the farmer's market and the friends of the farmer's market likes to call these things impediments. But the reality is those impediments are actually there to ensure that everyone is treated equally and that taxpayers are protected. We as elected officials have to look at, have to look out for all the people, not just a particular person, a particular group, or a favored group. And there are, the city does have costs that are associated with any event, and vendors that conduct business in our city. These events, and the vendors utilize city services. They use our roads, they use our sidewalks, they use parks, they walk on our sidewalks, and they utilize public works. Now, we all have to pay for those services. And this is the way the city pays for those resources that we all enjoy. I mean, if you think about it, why the employees of businesses, Loveland-based businesses, have to pay an earnings tax? They're paying earnings tax because they are using our resources and that's how we pay for our city services. So I really don't understand how something that started off pretty simple, we had a fee ordinance in December. It had two readings. It passed 7-0. It established the fees for all types of activities throughout the city. No one from the public ever came to either of those meetings which are public and the agenda is published. Then a group from the market decided they wanted to complain about the fee assessment. And then all of a sudden three of our council members who voted for the ordinances, who for whatever reason decided, well, you know, I'm unprepared for council meetings and I didn't know what I was voting on and I didn't understand the effect of their votes. <laughs> That, my friends, is exactly what you stated. Exactly. We were unprepared and did not understand the effect of our vote. Go back and read let's, it. Let's, let's exactly keep, let's keep, let's keep, Ms. Gross, the floor is yours. Continue on with your, your statement and then uh, if you just address it. Uh, the bottom line is that we have, we have the family, we have the friends of the family market, of the farmer's market, 
Because the bottom line is they are still unhappy that they have to pay a fee. So originally the fee was high. We listened, we came back, we lowered the fee. The fee became $50. We did that almost immediately and it passed unanimously. We listened. But there is a fee, and the fee is $50. And then the case of the farmer's market, who is here for six months. They're not a one-time, you know, here for a week kind of thing for $50. They're here for six months. That comes out to $1.92 a week for a vendor to conduct business in our city. I understand that you're also unhappy that you have to submit to a background check. This background check is a basic background check. It will cost $6. That's it. I think the city has every right to know who is conducting business in their city. You also, you have to also register your business with the city, which every business does, and that you have to file an income tax return, which we have an ordinance that states that you need to. Mind you, all these requirements are the same requirements of anyone else who's going to conduct business here. So let me ask anyone who's listening, is it unreasonable for the city to want to know who is conducting business in their city? Do you think it's unreasonable to ask every business and vendor to follow the same rules as all the other businesses located in the city? Do you feel asking a vendor to pay $1.92 a week to conduct business in Loveland is burdensome? I don't, and I'm sorry. The bottom line is the, the farmer's market has always been subsidized by the taxpayers. Their business is located on property they don't own. They use city resources. As I said, roads, sidewalks, and the public works. And it is not unreasonable for the city to have a policy that says, hey, you need some skin in the game. And to ask the farmer's market vendors, again, to pay $1.92 a week to operate their business is not too much to ask, nor is it an undue burden. You know, it seems every day it seems everything today is political. And that's a shame, because quite frankly, most of the time, it's just common sense. And this is one of those times.